Well, good morning, everybody. And uh, I know some of you, uh, but not all. And I, I have a suspicion that I'll get to man know many of you much better as we go along here. But glad that you're here this morning and appreciate your interest in our university. Uh, you know, I have to be honest, it's been a whirlwind for me this last week, as you can imagine. Um, I was on vacation last week, and uh, on Wednesday, uh, when President Ramsey resigned, I was actually having a good time at Hilton Head, and I was sitting on the couch with my son late at night watching a movie, and uh, I got the phone call. I was actually almost asleep. Uh, he didn't know that. I, he wanted me to watch a movie with him, and he didn't know that I had fallen asleep, and the, my cell phone woke me up, and, and I was informed that uh, in my role as interim provost that I was now the acting president of the university. Uh, needless to say, that uh, changed my plans for that week, and uh, I got busy. Uh, and I have to say, uh, you know, it was overwhelming at first to think about that. Uh, I came here in 2011 as the dean of engineering, just shy of five years, actually, right now. I, I started here September 1st, 2011, as dean of engineering. And uh, if you had asked me at that time where I would be, in August of 2016, I, I would not have guessed sitting here in front of you today, but uh, that's where we are. And I'm, I'm really uh, honored uh, that the Board of Trustees asked me to uh, lead this institution in this interim period. Um, what I recognized very quickly from what happened over the last uh, week was that there is a flood of support for us to move forward. I've heard from many, many faculty, many uh, staff, uh, students, alumni, community members uh, expressing their support uh, for the university and for me to move it forward. Uh, that really encouraged me. And then when I went back to what I said earlier about that overwhelming feeling, I started to gain confidence that you know we could do it. And uh, my thoughts went back to uh, why I came here and what my first impressions of the University of Louisville were when I first moved here. And I do remember very distinctly what attracted me was the sense of accomplishment, uh, real pride in what had been accomplished, and the optimism for the future that existed. And I think that's where we need to go. Uh, we have a tremendous plan um, that we have developed over two years. It's the 21st century plan for the university. Many of you are familiar with that. And uh, as interim provost, I was charged with the implementation of that plan. That will be uh, the structure that we will use going forward. Uh, it's uh, an exciting plan. It connects directly to what's most important for us here, which is our students, the uh, first-rate education for our students. Uh, it has, it's about student success. It's about the quality of the programs that we have here. It's about outstanding research, supporting outstanding research uh, that our faculty perform to support high level of graduate education. So that connects to education as well. And it's also about research that connects to the issues of our society in general, but particularly because of our metropolitan mission. It connects to our service to the community service in a way that, that is unique for a university. Our ability to bring our intellectual potential to s provide long-range solutions for our community. And what I mean by community, of course, is the immediate city, region, and of course the state as well. So uh, I'm excited about this. Uh, I feel optimistic. I feel energized going forward. The task ahead right now is to get ready for almost 3,000 students coming in. Uh, uh, in, the, in our freshman class and the 22,000 some students that will be uh, coming back to campus uh, at the start of this next semester. So the faculty I know are working hard to get, get us ready and it's the faculty and staff that have really kept us moving forward. They've continued their commitment and I know and from just the three or four days I've been here back after vacation that uh, things continue to operate normally at the university and we're moving forward. I also have a, a strong team around me. Uh, this team is, uh, is very supportive of us, uh, of, my, of my leadership, 
and uh, they've already started to brief me on, on, on the various responsibilities. But I do have to say right off the bat that uh, it's, there's a lot to learn. Uh, my responsibility was exclusively on the academic side. So there may be questions that you, that you have uh, on your mind that I may not be able to completely answer at this point. But with time, I will start to learn more about this. But I really have a very good set of vice presidents and deans in particular that are, that are uh, working as part of our leadership team. So with that, I'll open it up for questions. Really, the focus for us in the leadership is really about the university and what's good for the university. Uh, that's primary. All right, so in my view, what's good for the university is to attract the best possible leader, and that can be done with an open search. So. Could you talk about your relationship with Dr. Ramsey and perhaps the last time you guys had a conversation about sure. the university? Sure. Well, he and I work very closely together from the very start. Uh, I, uh, when I came in here as Dean of Engineering, uh, so again, to take you back five years, uh, we were just starting to conceptualize how we could utilize the investment the university had made in that 40-acre uh, uh, piece of land. It's, it was actually 36 acres, but about 40 acres, the, that piece of land that's adjacent to the speed school. And really, I was challenged when I came here to think about that as an opportunity to advance uh, engineering at the university. And that's what I started working on. And so I had the uh, opportunity to work with him directly because he was interested in that project and really worked very closely with him. Uh, and one of our successes was to bring General Electric, uh, you know, as first built on campus. And that's, uh, so I had a lot of interactions with him. Uh, so it, we worked very closely together, we worked very well, and I suspect that's the reason he asked me to step up as the, as the interim provost, because he had experience with me. And uh, what, I'm sorry, what was the other part? I haven't talked to him this week. I talked to him immediately on the phone, immediately after, on the Thursday after uh, he resigned, just to understand uh, sort of what the main issues were since I was the acting president. And he was very supportive of me uh, as the acting president and expressed his interest in the you know, continuing success of the university. That's yeah, pretty much it. And I've had conversations uh, with our senior leadership on, on the impact uh, of uh, sort of the ongoing discussion uh, on the board, the board of Trustees for the university and its composition. But from my perspective, the Board of Trustees, with one or two exceptions, is really about establishing policy for the university. And operationally, uh, we function uh, fairly effectively uh, in this environment. So to answer your question, sort of my, my gut reaction to that is, is we can function well uh, at this point and deliver on our mission. Uh, there, of course, when questions come about policy and change of policy, that's when the Board of Trustees becomes uh, very important. But right now, what I know from uh, all of the Board of Trustees members, and particularly the chairs, Chairman Bridgman and Chairman uh, Benz, is that everyone wants to make sure everyone is supportive of me moving forward and ensuring that on a day-to-day -day basis, the university operates without interruption. They're very supportive of that. So that, that empowers me to move forward on a lot of uh, operational decisions. Ideally, you know, I would not want to be on the front page uh, for, uh, for this reason. Um, we, have, um, we have, however, a very strong university. Uh, we have a lot going for us right now. There's a, you know, right, for example, just last week, I just happened to read a note uh, last night. Uh, last week, uh, our faculty won $4 million in research awards, uh, were awarded last week. So things are going on, you know, and so there is always that. Uh, I mean, if you look at the students, you know, with the Olympics coming on, we've got a whole bunch of our students uh, who are Olympians. The, there's a lot, of, a lot of this going on, and uh, this is a very strong institution. It's, uh, you know, and I recognize that, by the way. I just want to sort of affirm that. Uh, I've been here five years. I've learned to appreciate this institution. I've learned to appreciate its strength. And it's really, its tremendous strength is its connection to the community. It is something that has grown out of the community. I recognize my responsibility to be a good steward of this institution as we move forward and transition to a to new leadership. Uh, but I recognize, you know, that responsibility uh, in terms of 
its, uh, its value to our society as a very important institution that enables the advancement of this community. And so for me, that's incredibly important. So I think we, we will be all right. I will be transparent in everything I do. Uh, that's, that's, that's in my DNA. I've been, you know, at a university. I, I went in as a student in 1975, and I've been in, on, an, on one campus or another since then. So uh, academics is about openness, and, and that's the way I am. So, yes, I will be very open and transparent. If this was a room full of students, what would your message be to them? I would tell them that our commitment has not changed. What I want to do is make sure that uh, the, the discussions and challenges we are having around decisions on governance, I want to make completely transparent to them so that their experience would be the same whether this happened or not. And that's what I'm, what I'm committed to. Right now, my focus has to be on providing continuity of leadership at the institution, and that's more important than anything that I need to do for myself at this point.